Okay, hello people. This is Yvonne Gaybauer with my therapy room again. So this is a journal. <clears throat> I'm going to take you on another little journey. This is a journal that I made using one of those. I was going through, I was flipping through a magazine one day and this was actually a little magazine within a magazine, you know, that's attached to that glue that you pull off. So I decided to make it into a journal. So all I did was I pulled it out, <clears throat> punched holes, tied some string. That's all this is, I think, that's string. Um, and then made the journal. So these are just some pages that I've done already. Um, this was with napkins and neo colors. Um, this was with um, acrylic paint and some napkin butterflies and flowers that I cut out. This was my Neo Colors. No, not my Neo Colors. My um, Twinkling H2Os. Um, some napkin flowers that I cut out. Lots of layers. Anyway, so what I wanted to do today was another spread. And I've got this stamp um, designed by Lee Moore Weber. And it's called Dramatic Eye. I love it. So I've got an idea that I want to do with this stamp. I want to use my gelatos. I haven't used them in a long time. And I'm going to go back to my earth tones, which was my original kind of go-to colors when I first started. So I'm going to go with this set. I don't remember what the set was called. I think there was four colors in the original set, something like that. I don't remember which four it was anymore. Maybe those four. Um, but anyways, I just grabbed some colors that I thought might work on the page. Um, I'm going to use some blending fibers by Liquitex. I bought this a while ago from Lee Moore store and I've hardly used it. And you know what? I want to start using my supplies. This is what I'm going to do, my palette knife. I've got a stencil out and yeah. So this is what I'm going to try and do with you. Okay, so I've got it all dried. You probably can't really see it on there all that well, but it is there. Um, and I'm going to add some color here. Um, so I'm going to start, and I don't know how this goes over top of this stuff. No idea. We're about to find out. We are about to find out. So I think what I'm going to try to do is kind of a graduated Now if you've got gesso on your page with gelatos, they do blend a heck of a lot better than if you don't. Now I'm going to grab a baby wipes. I want this to be a little bit more blendy in there. I think I want the chai next. I think I want to come with the purple at the bottom here. And let's see if I can get some of that to move down the page. Hmm, see that? So I should take it right off the edge of the page there. Okay, wipe that mess up a little bit. Now I'm going to dry this and then I will be right back. 
Okay, so that's what I've got so far. This looks blue. This is actually a very bright purple. That's funny. Um, anyways, so now I think what I want to do is bring some of this, what color is this one, cinnamon, down from the top. So I'm just going to put a layer of it at the top here. And then just go in the other direction. Okay, so I'm just inking, I inked up my stays on ink pad because I want this to be very, very dramatic. It's a dramatic eye, right? So I want it to be very dark on the page. There. Okay. So... I am actually not going to use a stamping block simply because I want to make sure all of this gets on there. Okay, so there is my dramatic eye. Now, what else am I going to do with this page? Good question. Now, I want more. I'm going to go grab some background stamps and I'll be right back. Julie Moore has some pretty funky background stamps as well in her in her set that I love to use. So I'm actually going to take these out of here. I also grabbed this bubble stamp by Indigo Blue. I love it for background as well. And I just grabbed a grid. Now there's a grid on here as well, so we'll see which one I use. This stamp here, I love this one. This one right here for edges. So I might just take my stays on and go around the edge here with that first just to see what I can see what I can get going for that and I don't want it to be perfect so I'm not going to it's going to be one of these let's just kind of stamp it on and yeah see it kind of gives that I don't know if you can see that but almost like an ink blot border to the page. Ah, yeah, love that. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm just going to come in a little bit here and hopefully be able to show you kind of what I've got going so far. Yeah, I'm liking that. Come on a little bit. So, I think I'm going to put a quote on this. I've already got one picked out, but this time I'm going to have to... Now, the thing you have to remember with gelatos, you can't really write over top of them no matter what kind of a pen, they reactivate if you put something wet over top of them. So the only way I'd be able to seal this in order to write over top of it would be to spray it with a fixative, a workable fixative. And uh, I'm just not going to do that. So um, I'm going to actually go to my computer now and I'm going to print out my quote and then I will come right back. Okay, so I can't decide if I want to have another couple of eyes. So I did it on tissue paper. I'm actually considering adhering it because then it's going to be sort of blendy blendy into the background and it won't be so dark but I want to put the quote on this side so I always do it in a few different fonts I tried that one too didn't really like it and then I kind of decide on the one that I want and then what I'll do because I don't like white white bright on this dark um, I'll, I'll color this I'll make this some of these background colors um, on this piece of paper. Uh, I might even do that before I cut it out. In fact, I think I will. And I'm still trying to decide on those other eyes. I love that stamp. So what I want to do here is, I want to take the three colors that I had. I don't want it to be really, really, let's see, you know what, I think I might just even use 
what's this, cinnamon, iced chai, not cinnamon, iced chai. So I might even just, now because this page isn't gessoed, it's not going to be as blendy blendy. Or it won't blend as easily, I guess. I, I should say, it's grabbing a baby wipe. Okay, so I've got them all cut out. And as you can see, you really don't see the... Here, I'll just zoom in a little bit for you. Move this stuff. Move this over here. There. So you can see how it kind of blends in a little bit better to the, to the background. And I might add some more color to it after I've got the, the quote down. Now, I think I'm going to, oh, I don't know, I think I'm going to try and gel medium one of these things down and just see. I'm hoping I can get it back up if I don't like it. If not, I guess we're going with it. We're going with it, hey? Now, the only thing with gelatos is these are going to react when I put the gel medium in. They're going to reactivate, so I kind of only want to put it where the piece of tissue paper is going to be and this should just blend itself right into the background and if not I can always go over a little bit on the edges with some more gelato okay so I've got it dried and you'll see when I come in with the gelato and go over top it just blends it right into the background so you can't even see that it was once a piece of tissue paper Oh, I really like how that just blends right in to the background. I'll lift this up just to show you a little bit. See how those eyes are there, but they're really not there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I quite like that. Now I'm almost considering, because, because it's tissue paper, they'll be transparent, right? So I'm actually considering doing the other side of the eye over here but with the tissue paper again I think I'm going to do that and I'll be right back so there you go I've stamped them out again but I've turned them upside down and put them on the page so we just come in here a little bit closer see and I'll put that in behind so I'll put it on the page first and get those to blend back in. These two are blended in just beautifully. I love it. So you can just barely oops, see them, but they're there, right? So yeah, I'm going to do that, get it all blended in. You guys kind of saw me do that already. Um, and yeah, I'll be back. So there, I've got it all adhered and I'm just kind of going over top of some of these raised areas with the sort of gold color. Now I'm going to take my, and it should work because I've got Mod Podge, or no, uh, gel medium over top of that. So um, that should allow the pens to do their, the pens to do their thing. And I'll just scoot in here a little bit so you can kind of see what I do. But all I do is I come in and I'm not neat at all. I do short strokes, long strokes, whatever. Over the paper, on the page. I just want it to kind of become part of the page instead of this white pieces of paper that are hanging out here. Then I come back in here with my, oops, and again my white may not, just a little bit of white and that just gives it some highlights. And quite often what I'll do is I'll go back and forth with the black, the white. There. 
Okay, I'm going to go and um, mix up some paint and grab a fan brush and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to come out here just a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Now you can either use white acrylic paint or you can actually use your gelato and um, oh, where's my palette knife here? Just slice off a little bit of it and squish it into the just want to break it up a little bit is all I'm doing here. And this is just a plastic lid from a and I'm just going to add some water to the to the mix and get it all dissolved in there. I prefer the white paint to this to be honest with you. But I just wanted to show you that you can't like the gelatos are very versatile. You can mix them up with um, um your texture paste with your gel mediums with pretty much a lot of different things. I'm just going to see if this is going to be white enough. I don't think it will be. I would have needed more gelato, I think. I don't know if that's going to show up on my page or not, so let's just find out here. Oh yeah, it does. A little trick when you are splattering. Hold the brush, tilt it up towards your face, and you will be less likely to end up with splatters on your face. It'll splatter the other direction, believe it or not. Another trick I learned from Lee Moore. Yeah, I like the white splatters on there. There. I think I'm good. I might take, let's put this into my water that I've got going on the side. I'm going to take my black gelato as me and my, close my paint up here so I don't forget. Me and my um, edges don't like being, I like to and I know I've already stamped on there, but I just want that very outside edge to be good and black just to frame this page a little bit. So I'm just using a black gelato. I'm just going to add some, I'm just taking some different size caps and I don't want a lot of them, just some very subtle like that. I think that's good. Yep, I like that. I'm leaving it. It's good. There. All right. Hands once again. I love getting my hands filthy. My page isn't done until I've done that. So there you go. My page. I quite like it. There you go. So yeah, thank you very much for coming along once again. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I would appreciate that. Please subscribe. Um, you'll get email notifications when I do upload a new video when you subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll put links to my other social medias down below. Um, comment, leave me a comment. I love reading comments and I answer every one of them. So if you have a question, if you have a suggestion for other videos you'd like me to do or techniques you'd like me to show or anything like that, um, let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for once again coming along on my little Eyes to the Soul journey and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.